things I've been doing during quarantine. Juicing, eating, going pee-pee, pooping, push-ups, busting beats, eating shrooms, watching Brazilian porn, getting groceries, and doing dishes. Dirty dishes in my kitchen Calling my name I don't listen Dirty dishes in my kitchen Calling my name I don't listen Dirty dishes in my kitchen Calling my name I don't listen Dirty dishes in my kitchen Calling my name I don't listen And I really See they telling you that that's a really bad idea. When otro día, otro día, papi chulo, papi feo, papi chulo, papi feo, papi chulo, papi feo, papi chulo, papi feo, papi chulo, papi feo. Dirty dishes in my kitchen, calling my name. I don't listen. Dirty dishes in my kitchen, calling my name. I don't listen. I'm a man in of many states. They know my gate. They know my moves. They know my name. They know my fate. They know my gate. They know my face. Uh. made this beat two days ago uh, off like half a gram of shrooms <laughs> it was hell fun came out pretty cool kill um let's see what we got I hope everyone's doing okay uh just I'm just trying to stay busy stay positive Get some sun, eat well, uh, be nice. I hope you're doing the same. Love ya. I'm going to play a song that I recorded yesterday. And initially when I recorded it, uh, it's a, it, Logan made the beat, it's hella dope, and it, he made it here, and then we stashed it, and I forgot about it. I just found it like four days ago with... Uh, like a vocal, like a voice memo I made, like a like a freestyle, and it was tight, so I used it, and then I wrote the song. Um, but I heard it so much while I was mixing it that I just didn't even know if it was good, and I listened to it um, this morning, and I really like it. It's called Too Cold Scorpio, who is a old wrestler, and he had like hella other different alii, but... Uh, I remember him as Too Cold Scorpio, and he was hella dope. Holy shit, this cantaloupe is like perfectly ripe and deliciously sweet. Walk along the altar, too cold, Scorpio. Mommy, man, low. Coconut up a man of flow. Open up the can and go. Walk along the altar. Walk along the altar. Walk along the altar path. Open up the land, you hoe. Fucking up my plans and such. Hoes and hoes, man, it's tough. Bros that do hands is rough Fucking up my plans
plans as such Open up the land, you hoe Fucking up my plans as such Hoes and hoes, mans is tough Bros and do hands is rough so fucking good um what else new favorite stuff um i watched a movie it's called dean and it was uh written and i believe directed by dimitri martin who's a really dope like uh visual stand-up comedian i guess you could say but he uses a lot of drawings in his comedy and the movie has a lot of drawings and he's like a cartoonist in the movie and it's really good you should watch it. it's called dean it's on netflix um i watched i also watched a robert johnson documentary on netflix and i thought it was really good it was a little dramatic but he's an old well he's the original well i shouldn't say he's accredited with creating rock and roll because he was a very prominent uh blues man back in the day and his songs the structures and the shit he was doing with his guitar um, was like the precursor for rock and roll for sure. But it's super interesting. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's about Robert Johnson. It's on Netflix. It's about 40 minutes. It's really dope. Um, what else? Um, Midnight Gospel on Netflix. I'm sure everyone's already seen it, but it's animated. It's incredible. It's Duncan Trussell, a stand-up comedian and uh pendleton the last name escapes me but the guy who made adventure time it's so fucking good it's so good uh let's see oh dave on fx is really dope it's a little dicky show it's really good amazing writing um obviously dope music but amazing show uh this is an album by Mike Dean. It's called 420. Uh, I listened to it on Spotify, but it's like basically like an hour and 33 minutes of him just like jamming hella hard on like synths. And it's fucking incredible. Uh, Pray for Paris by West Side Gun. Amazing album. Uh, he's probably one of the one of the best rappers there is right now. R.A. The Rugged Man. All My Heroes Are Dead, incredible hip-hop album. Um, I love R.A. the Rugged Man. Uh, when I found out about him, that was what like kind of got me trying to like write or whatever because he was just such a skilled like lyricist and like his flow was just nasty. He's like a, a master of uh, emceeing. Amazing. Um, let's see. I got sunburnt hanging out at Lily's house and I wrote a song about it. So I'm going to play it. It's called Dance Almighty.
that's just a little demo. You can hear the hangers clanging around in the closet where I record my thrift store slash vocal booth. Um, that song came out dope though. It's a little jammy, jammy jam. I just gotta like loop it and make it longer. Um, shit. You have all this stuff written down and then it's time to read the stuff and the stuff isn't good and it's not organized and it's everywhere. Um, oh, I've been sifting through like thousands of, uh, voice recordings from my phone just like ideas and like songs and freestyles and shit it's quite a task uh but i've been making some headway and i found a few that were interesting so this is like um my original reference track for the song bestseller off the mushroom mixtape and um it, there it goes so this is like it's like me basically freestyling to the beat and this is kind of how i start with the idea for a song Piece of shit, and i have like some shit written down or like an idea that i'm harping on and then i kind of flesh it out and then i make sure to record it because i come back to it and i take the good shit me. I just finished volume three. The characters are true to form. All the text is cuneiform. Basically, it's bullshit. Give me 20 bucks. I complete the pages. Illustrate them bitches. Color inky dollar. Don't nobody read it. Mama, I succeeded. I make great illusions. I create the world so I can never lose it. Damn, I kind of like that version better. I should have used that as like a third verse or something. That shit's funny. So then this is what came of that. This is the actual song. And this song is called Bestseller. And it's basically like I'm kind of drawing parallels between like um, comic book artists and, uh, you know, musicians. And how it's kind of like, you know, everyone loves it, but you don't really get paid. And... Um, I don't know, it was just kind of like this emo song about like not being listened to. <laughs> um, but I, it came out pretty dope. This is off the mushroom mixtape, bitch. I wrote a graphic novel by. Piece of shit named me. I just finished volume three. The characters are true to form. All the text is uniform. Basically illegible, but incredible. I complete them pages, illustrate them bitches. Color coordinated. Don't nobody read it. Mama, I All right, you fucking get it. Um, but it's interesting. Uh, I've always loved comics and I've always wanted to write them. I just can't draw very well. I can do like abstract doodles and shit, but I can't draw like actual things. And uh, Logan is working on his comics degree right now. He's working on comics all the time for school. So I think in the near future, we're definitely going to like make something. Um, I'm excited about that. And uh, I'm always looking for like, you know, different ways to get my ideas across and whatnot. Um, this is another, um, like, freestyle that I found, and it turned into a song, um, and it's a player coach song. It's me and Stretch, and my brother, Moy, uh, made the beat, and it's a very interesting, uh, like, kind of transferring of the ideas. So. I think I'm just like driving around Totally incomprehensible But then I came up with this hood Right there. And I remember going, oh shit, that was tight. 
So then I came back to it and I, we recorded this. This is Player Coach, Money on the Side, produced by Moi Chingo. Play the favor with me Suckers talk crazily Moving majorly Johnny dangerously Just a little bit of money on the side, side, side. Steady in the prize Just a little bit of money on the side either going to be on the player coach three album or um chingo and chapel which is moy's debut album that we're still working on um slow cooking it because i want i want his first project to be like really good because he's like still a kid my brother is gonna be 18 in july he's already making hella beats and he's got a good work ethic and his beats are pretty good. So in like in like a year or two, he's going to be super nasty. He also raps. And I'm trying to help him with that a little bit. But he's got his own little style. He's dope. Love that guy. Having a little brother who's like into music is really cool. Because you can just like game him up. Give him the good stuff. And then you can also tell him like what bullshit to ignore. Um... Let's see. Oh, my shirt is really cool. It's by this artist um, from Tijuana, and his name is Raudiel, R-A-U-D-I-E-L. I'll put the link in the description, but he's a super dope guy. He uh, is just uh, draws like all his designs by hand. He's an amazing artist, and he has like this little shop in a strip mall in TJ um, off the Pasaje Rodriguez? Rodriguez? I'm not sure. It's one of the Pasajes, which is like a little alleyway, and all, there's all these little artisan shops. But he's like in this one like little crazy dope strip mall, and he has his own little like 10 by fucking 10 little shop, and he's got all his shirts up. 
super dope shit. Um, but he's selling his shit online. He's shipping from Mexico to the U.S. and worldwide. And you should check it out. He's got some really dope designs. So I wanted to give him some Pope. I don't think he likes me because I'm white. <laughs> he always like just doesn't look at me when I'm in his store. And then I buy the shirt and it's kind of like, oh, God, I wish you weren't buying this. But I'll take your money. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, let's see. I'll take you out with this one. And see, all the lies. You better pace yourself tonight. I got weed. I got wine. I better pace myself tonight. I got shorts. I got bone. I couldn't pace myself tonight. All the plans. for my song parlor games uh and crisis actor the album is now streaming on all platforms so go check that shit out and big thanks to everyone uh supporting me on Bandcamp. um all that money just paid off my splice account and splice is like a software that, that you can download like new sounds for your beats and shit and it's like a rent to own deal i didn't even know but Apparently, I was paying, we're, well, the money comes from the PayPal, which comes from the bank account money, but uh, I thought I, we were just paying monthly, and we just pay for the service. Me and Logan share an account, and apparently, we were renting to own the whole time, so it just paid off um, like a week ago, so big thanks to everyone who's ever supported me uh, on Bandcamp, and uh, thanks for checking out this fucking podcast, baby. See you later. Thank you.